guys, Hardy Kid Elite here, and today, alright, another CJ video of the Shredder, Ooh, the trial of the Tenkin Shredder, the second one we're gonna do, alright, well, I wanna check this out, another Shredder is gonna be interesting, oh, this one's interesting. Alrighty, it is time for another installment of the Shredder Trials. And our next challenger has approached to be judged for the prestigious honor of having a seat at the round table. And that next challenger is none other than the demonic Avengers level threat, the Tengu Shredder. So we ain't gonna waste no time. Without further ado, it is time to continue the Shredder Trials. Mm -hmm. Exhibit A. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit A, the Shredder from Hell. Now, the Tengu Shredder is from the depths of Hell. Mm. Now I know some of y'all niggas gotta be shook, cause first we talked about an alien, and now we're talking about a demon. I know okay. some of y'all probably thought Shredder was just a human. Well, I mean, the next trial we will be talking about the human version, but mm -hmm. this one, however, though, yeah, get ready to strap in. So to understand all of this, we have to go back all the way to 300 AD. Now, okay. as we can see, this village is burning, and people are running for their lives because they are under attack by a Tengu that was called the Shredder. Yeah, this big ass Godzilla looking motherfucker was the original Shredder that came from the depths of hell to wreak havoc on Earth. And look at it, he is killing us out here frying motherfuckers extra crispy. Oh, and this dang. demon just wreaked havoc and destroyed everything in his path. So to stop the Shredder, the Emperor of Japan gathered the five greatest warriors in the world. And of those warriors, one of them was none other than the original Oroku Saki. Yes, mm. Utram Shredder stole this whole nigga's flow to gain respect and have a higher place in society. So these great warriors were given sacred armor and they set out to defeat the Shredder. Now before that battle even starts, we gotta pump the brakes because look at this shit. That is a whole village over there that has been burnt down and destroyed. And by my calculations, those villagers are 99.9% .9 dead. I mean, let's be real. It's a demon. He probably snatched all they damn souls. But anyways, the warriors pull up on Shredder and immediately start to get washed. They stood no chance. Look at this dude and his poor horse. Shredder winded up his fist all the way to the heavens and slumped that nigga all the way to the Mississippi River. And look at bro right here. Blood tried to hit him with a mace and chain him up around his tree. But the demon said, Straight up squash that nigga. So the only person that was able to give this demon a fight was none other than Oroku Saki. Now Saki was actually able to damage him. He was so strong he was able to cut off the demon's arm and actually bring it to its knees. So it looked like it was all over. The world was about to be saved. Saki told him, go back to the hell from which you came from, demon. But right before he was about to give the killing blow, the mm -hmm. demon invaded his mind and he started to seduce this man. So the Shredder made him a offer. He told him, Ah, oh, great warrior, I can give you everything that you desire. Money, power, bitches. Bitches, you say? Countless bitches from across <laughs> the world. All you have to do is sell me your soul. So, after hearing the demon's offer, Saki took the deal. He sold his soul. So he destroyed the body of the demon to make it look like he defeated him. But in all actuality, the demon merged with him and Oroku Saki became the host of the Shredder. So they returned to Yamato and they were welcomed back with a party by the emperor and all of the people. So the emperor is up here praising them, giving them the glory, the honor, and all the glaze. But little did he and everybody else know that the worst was yet to come. Cause later on, right after the ceremony, Saki, or no, let me rephrase that. The Shredder came back to Yamato, surrounded by demons and destroyed the whole place, massacring everybody. 
So, um, the Emperor? Yeah, that nigga's dead. And over time, he just plunged the entire world into darkness. Nobody could stop this nigga. Not even armies. They all failed. He became the world's most feared warlord. And on top of that, he was a Avengers level threat. It was hopeless. This was the Demon King that all the Isekai protagonists are summoned to come defeat. <laughs> so there was only one way to stop this Demon King Shredder. The four other ninjas that used to be his teammates had to learn mystic arts so they could ascend to godhood because that was the only way they were gonna be able to stop him. So years later, after they finished training and became gods, they went to confront their old friend. Now, as we can see, the Shredder, or should I call him Oroku Hefner, is having a good old time with his bitches. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Until the four dragon warriors bust up in his crib. So obviously this man Shredder was pissed. He told him, oh, you cock blocking motherfuckers. We were just about to get to the good part. <laughs> Fuck you, Saki! You betrayed us! Your best friends! All oh, for what, Saki? For a taste of pussy! Oh, don't act like I was in the wrong. Hanging out with you pussyless fools was <laughs> never going to get me laid. So Shredder attacks him, but the four dragons were ready. Because with their mystic arts, they were able to keep up with him. So they actually end up knocking this man down. Hell, they couldn't even believe it. So the Shredder decided it was time to release his full power. So this man transforms into a dragon. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> this was wild. You had to think, oh, these niggas are about to get cooked. But then you got to remember, oh, wait, these niggas are also gods too. So they transformed into dragon avatars as well. So it was time for the final boss battle with the world at stake. A big ass dragon battle. So the motherfucking Green Ranger hits him from the back and smashes him in the ground. But this man got up and used super explosive wave, sending everybody flying. The Yellow Ranger got flung all the way into a mountain. And oh my God, look what he did to the Green Ranger. Nigga grabbed her neck and planted her in the ground. Then he threw her so hard it destroyed the whole castle. But yeah. the four dragons were persistent. Even though they was getting they ass whooped and getting bitch slapped, they kept on jumping them. So then the Yellow Ranger ends up turning into Kung Lao. Nigga threw his hat and it turned into a shuriken, cutting off both of his hands. Then they start using key blasts to seal this man's spirit. So he ended up running out of key for his transformation and ended up falling all the way down to the ground. The Shredder's reign of terror was finally over. So the four dragons came up with a plan because they knew they couldn't kill him because this man was a entity. Death would not hold this man back. So they decided to seal him so he would never resurrect. So these four ninjas ended up becoming the legendary ninja tribunal and their whole purpose was to watch over this man's casket and to train warriors if this man ever resurrected. And they did this for 1700 years. Yeah, not so a long time. everything seemed all fine and dandy until his acolytes broke in stole his casket and resurrected him the shredder trials <laughs> exhibit a wrap up <laughs> multiple mass murders property damage multiple attempted murders criminal mischief treason of the highest order war crimes exhibit b <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, Dark Resurrection. So, as I stated at the end of Exhibit A, the Shredder's mystic acolytes broke into the tribunal's temple and stole the Shredder's casket so they could resurrect him. So now we go back to present day New York and his acolytes are performing the ritual in the Chrysler building. I know this man Spider-Man mad doing this satanic shit on his turf. So to resurrect the Shredder, they had to recite these words and say it in unison. So using the ancient speech to summon the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, <laughs> the Shredder arose from the dead and his body was completely rebuilt into the form of a demon. 
and his aura was so strong, he blew the place up. So once the Acolytes knew this man was back, they instantly started glazing. This nigga Shredder was on some Roman Reigns shit. The first thing he said out the casket was, yeah. Acknowledge me. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, me lord. So Shredder was itching to do some bad things because the man's been sealed for 1700 years. But also, the Acolytes told him about the Utram Shredder and how he impersonated him for years. And even though Utram Shredder isn't here anymore, Karai became the new Shredder. So this man was lit and immediately attacked his acolytes. And bro was yelling at him and telling him, How dare you let those bum ass niggas tarnish my name? Oh, oh master, we, we apologize. So the first thing on this man's agenda was to head to the foot headquarters. And while he was on the way, he decided to cause mayhem. Nigga was floating down the streets and just destroying everything, causing multiple car crashes, blowing up newspaper stands, vandalizing that one statue outside of the Rockefeller Center. And my God, this was the worst one. He let this motherfucker right here burn alive in a car. Dang. That's murder. <laughs> This show was shown on four kids, by the way. So Shredder <laughs> arrives at Foot Clan HQ and doesn't even decide to use the door that's clearly right there. Nah, he just blows a massive hole open. So a massive amount of Foot Ninjas come up and try to ambush him. But Shredder was about to catch 100 bodies in just five seconds because he immediately blows up the entire area, killing damn near every Foot Ninja in the blast radius. And it went so quick, he was disappointed. Shredder looked at their corpses and said, you call yourselves Ninja? Put the fries in the bag. So then the Foot Clan deploys every single mech that they have to try to stop them. But they failed miserably, getting eviscerated on the spot. And just look at this carnage, bro. They stood no chance. Nigga right here got folded like an omelet. So Shredder proceeded to get all the way to the top floor. And he is immediately met by the elite guard. The same elite guard that put Leonardo in a coma for a week. Mm -hmm. And you know what he does to these dudes? He uses the force to grab their weapons. Then just flings it at him, one-shotting them. The Foot Clan elites got one-shot by this man. Unbelievable. So the last people to try to stop him were these recon ninja trying to seal him, but this did not work at all because this man just breaks out of what they tried to seal him in and brutally snatches their souls. Dang. The body's a empty husk. So Shredder was losing patience. He yelled, Karai, bring your bitch ass out here. So Karai comes out in her Shredder armor and she is not having this. She told this man, okay, first of all, boo-boo, I'm gonna need you to lower that tone rolling up on my turf on some bullshit. Nigga, who the fuck you think you is? The Shredder? <laughs> I'm a psychologist, nigga. You don't think I can read right through your phony ass? Newsflash, old nigga, I'm in charge now. So Karai tries to attack him, but bro immediately grabs her and throws her into a gun. And Shredder was feeling himself, yapping at her and saying, Oh yeah, get on up, you raggedy bitch! So bro grabbed her and threw her across the room again. This nigga did not come to play games. So Karai had to pull out her trump card. She pulled out some holy water and threw it on the nigga. And she actually started pushing him. She had this man scrambling. So then she kicks him on the wall and stabs him right in the gut. And bro falls to his knees. And it looks like Karai is won. But my god, this was some up shit this man did his helmet falls off and he just looks at her and her emotions start to get the best of her because she sees his face and she's like D -d -d daddy oh my sweet child so she comes down to try to help him because she thinks this is her dad but he turns his face back into a demon and just starts laughing at her she is legit traumatized and bro just gets up and rips the sword out of his stomach nigga said so he turns the sword into a snake oh, damn. and just has it chase her around while he's just watching and laughing the whole time she's yeah. running for her life. This is a sick nigga. So then he comes out and drop kicks her and she ends up running into a pole and the snake wraps her up. So before he's about to deliver the final strike, he's giving her a choice of, do you want to die by my claw 
claws of my serpent's face. Choose wisely now. So when he's going in for the kill, she makes a hard read and ducks this man. And he ends up cutting off the serpent's head. So Shredder lost all his patience. He grabbed her and just threw her on the wall. And bro floated up to her and told her, you dare call yourself Shredder? You fucking fraud. Take this <laughs> shit off. So he rips off her armor. And then he probably said the wildest line in this entire show. In his exact words, I quote, after looking at you, perhaps I should let you live after all. You would make a fine slave. Oh, dang. Really? Another reminder that this was on four kids, by the way. So the <laughs> turtles finally pull up with some new mystical abilities that they got from training with the tribunal. And this shredder has never met these turtles yet. So he was confused. He was like, talking turtles. The fuck are you supposed to be, nigga turtles? <laughs> So Shredder said to hell with it. It's time to pull out my ultimate technique. So this man floats up and says, Domain expansion. <laughs> yes, this Shredder has a domain expansion. <laughs> and it is broken. Because his domain expansion allows him to raise every single enemy he's killed from the dead. Oh, hey. So all those people he killed during his conquest back in 300 AD? Yeah, he could bring them right back up, along with other creatures from the nether realm. So he has them attack everybody, and they can't do nothing. Because every time they take one out, they just rise back up. They were going against the immortal army. But here comes Karai again, but she got a new toy. She got a holy water sword. So she starts clashing swords with Shredder, and she actually ends up landing a hit. But this just pissed him off, because he walked her down and cut her sword in half. So he walked her down and had his undead grab her and hold her in place. So he is about to kill her, but Karai's boyfriend, Dr. Chaplin, shoots this nigga with a holy water gun, blowing a hole in his stomach. But this did nothing. This man was truly immortal. He started laughing and just regenerated. So he looked at her boyfriend and said, Oh, I get it. Is this your girl, nigga? Well, if it is, congratulations, because you have a front row seat of me blowing your bitch back out. Oh, oh dang. To be honest with you, I don't know how the hell Karai survived this. I don't. She should be dead. Dead as hell. So Shredder blows everybody off the roof. And the turtles and everybody got a retreat. This battle was hopeless. They got their ass beat. Karai got put in a coma and lost all the drip. She has no sauce. But you know where she can get that drip back at? She can get that sauce back on cjdchamp.com. With that two <laughs> mil merch. Link in the description. She need it. Selfish <laughs> plug on the, the Shredder, Shredder trials. <laughs> Hey, this is epic up. right here. Attempted murder, murder, arson, criminal mischief, mass murder, assault, vehicular manslaughter. Mm -hmm. Exhibit C. All right. Yeah, all righty, ladies and gents. It is now time for our final exhibit. Exhibit C, hell on earth. So, after Shredder brutalized and destroyed the Foot Clan in a night, he decided it's time to take over New York. So he makes his way over to the mayor's house. And instead of walking through the door like a civilized citizen, this man decides to break through the roof so he could fly in and assert his dominance. So the mayor was terrified while Shredder was up here floating and saying, this is what you deserve for those foolish tax cuts, you fat fool. So he picks this man up and throws him to the side of the wall. That man's back has got to be broken. He <laughs> threw him so hard, he made a dent in the wall. And that man is not the fuck out. So you just assaulted a government official, broke his back, and the way his head landed, he probably just gave him Antonio Brown levels of CTE. <laughs> so it was time for Shredder to enact his plan. He started using his domain expansion to transform the entire city into hell on oh, earth. Oh, dang, that's it crazy. Was complete chaos. That's so gotta be epic. They even got hit and got their soul snatched and turned into an undead monster. And to make sure it covered everything, this man transformed back into his demonic dragon form and oh, spread out his domain all the way throughout 
the entire city. And when he was done, he turned the entire city into hell. Oh, dang. There is a fucking volcano in Times Square. Yeah. Look at the Statue of Liberty. Ooh. What the hell is that? And Shredder wasn't even going to stop here. <laughs> He was going to spread his domain across the entire planet, but he needed time to rest before he could do it. So the Ninja Turtles and everybody had to come up with a plan, mm -hmm. and that was to form the Avengers. They mm -hmm. had to get other acolytes from the Tribunal, Agent Bishop and Dr. Stockman from their shadow organization, every superhero in the city, and Karai with whatever was left with the foot. So they all go to Shredder's stronghold and start to assault the base. So after they had to fight through floors of monsters and kill the Shredder's mystic acolytes, they finally reached his throne room and he welcomed them in because he wanted to kill them personally because all of them were trained by the tribunal, the people that sealed him to begin with. But before he was about to attack, Karai pulled out some mystic ninjutsu to start draining this man's power. So this actually ends up knocking him down because they finally found a weak against this man so this big bastard hun walks up the bro's body and kicks him and he's like <laughs> nigga you ain't shit compared to master shirelle <laughs> nigga you trash but hun celebrated too soon shredder grabbed this man floated up and told him how dare you put your lowly monkey feet on my drip nigga you should focus on facing that bagged up ass hairline of yours <laughs> So the final battle finally started. Bootleg Superman Silver Century tried to punch him, but got blocked immediately, and bro started breaking his arm and telling him, my god, your headline's even worse. When did the Vegeta start coming in fashion? And throws him <laughs> to God knows where. Nigga hit him with the Team Rocket special. So this man charges up a massive key blast and blasts everybody outside of the stronghold and starts coming at them at full speed on a demon horse with a trident. So this man tries to impale Raphael, but he ended up dodging it, and he ends up getting surrounded by all eight of the acolytes trained by the tribunal. But he didn't care that he was about to get jumped. Matter of fact, he was filled with joy. He wanted this shit. So Raphael is the first one to attack, along with the bride from Kill Bill. But he throws Raphael in the shorty. Then here comes Hanzo. He gets washed and thrown to the side, just like Overwatch. <laughs> so here comes Mikey from the oh, other side, but he gets force choked, slammed up. on the ground, then he got drugged, hit Donatello, and they both got slammed on a tree with thorns. This man just hit a collateral. So then Leonardo and the last two dudes try to attack him, but they get hit by that Wukong immobilized, and you just see him get blown up in the distance. So this man just caught like eight assault charges. And you know what? I saw this comment on my last video. You forgot to mention that these are teenage mutant ninja turtles. And you know what? You're damn right. So guess what? We hitting that nigga with child abuse. <laughs> So Master Splinter runs over here and he's grieving over his sons getting their ass beat. And while the ancient one is behind him trying to comfort him, his fat ass gets hit with back shots. Uh, hey. So the Shredder is looking at Master Splinter and all hope seems lost. But the turtle's amulets end up using the power of ass pull because the spirit of Hamato Yoshi comes out of the amulets and he is wounding this man's soul. All of his evil energy is leaking out of him. So to repair himself, he had to take down his domain expansion and absorb all of that energy and turn back into his dragon form. So Master Splinter had to give these boys a pep talk. He told them, Oh, my sons, reach deep into yourself on some Bruce Lee shit and enter the dragon. So these boys ended up manifesting dragon avatars just like the tribunal did in 300 AD. So the fate of the world all Dang, comes they got turned to dragons. pants of the dragons. So they start pushing them, but they getting bitch slapped. But Leonardo lands a Kamehameha and puts his ass in the dirt. But this was not going to stop him. Raphael came in to get a bite just to get bitch slapped across New York Again. and landed on a yacht. Oh, God, people weren't on there. Then Donatello and Michelangelo take a double facial. Pause. <clears throat> um. But here comes Leonardo hitting him with a kamikaze. 
I hope to God nobody is in these buildings right now because if they are, they are dead. So Leonardo Ooh. ended up taking himself out on that shoulder bash and Shredder got up and made his way to Karai because she was trying to use that dark magic shit on him again. So he flies down and the first person he goes for is none other than Oh, Baxter dang. Stock. Oh, not him. He suffered enough. can't catch a break. Hey, whatever Shredder it is, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, they always got two things in common. Hating turtles and abusing Baxter Stockman. So he ends up eating this nigga, then cooking Dr. Chaplin again. So he is about to chow down on Karai. But Raphael and Donatello grab him by the snout. And Mikey comes in with the spear, planting his big ass. And that gave Karai enough time to finish the ritual and zapping all of this man's dark energy. So they start jumping, playing ping pong with his ass. And it got so bad, he ended up losing his helmet and his gauntlet. And that is significant because that makes him a mortal being again. So Donatello comes from the top rope and sits on him. Then after pinning him down, their amulets end up manifesting the spirit of Hamato Yoshi again. So this man Shredder was pissed. He was yelling at him like, No, I will not lose to some bullshit. This makes no fucking sense. You are right. It doesn't make a lick of sense. But it doesn't matter because this is on four kids. Nani? So Hamato Yoshi jumps up and freezes this nigga, splitting him right down the middle. Yeah, you're dead. You are dead. All right, everybody. We now turn our attention to the board of charges. All right. My God, just look at it. Yeah. Look at it. Absolutely nasty work. Multiple charges with multiple counts. I think it's safe to say another shredder, another seat at the table. Jesus Christ. Because this spread is ridiculous. And we still got one more mm -hmm. to go. Mm -hmm. And this last one, <laughs> he takes Hayton to another level. So before I get out of here, I just got to thank y'all for two mil real quick. Absolutely insane. Yeah. It's still so surreal to me, man, because I had no clue I would get this far. I was just doing this shit in college for fun and voila. But hey, man, I wouldn't take it back. So I love every single one of y'all. And until the final trial, the Shredder yeah, sure. True Ride. Mm -hmm. so, uh, all right, ooh. <laughs> oh, that was very interesting. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, that was interesting. This shredder is <laughs> a whole nother level. Yeah, I'm, I'm hyped for the third one. We get to see the next one. It's going to be the 2012 one. I saw a little bit of it. I thought it was interesting. But I never really see enough of Shredder. I saw some moments of the Shredder. Well, um, and a lot of stuff that he did a little bit. But, uh, okay. Uh, enough about spoiling this. Alright, if you want more Party Kid Elite, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and comment down below. I'll see you guys again until the next video.